Because as I've said, well, for the AWGN, the additive white Gaussian noise, the channel is basically one. If we could somehow average the effect of the channel, then we could approach this performance. If we could approach this performance, then it would be great. So as I've said, when the receive signal to noise rate, uh, this SNR variation increases, the average performance decreases, it gets poorer. So there are two major approaches to deal with this problem, which are the two key concepts for wireless communication. First one is power control. What power control does is that we can control the transmit power such that we can maintain a fixed sig receive signal to noise ratio. Because imagine uh, someone is standing very near to a base station. When it receives a very high power and a very good signal to noise ratio, the base station doesn't really need to transmit that much power. Because as long as the receiver can receive a certain signal to noise ratio such that it can maintain a good performance, it's okay. We don't need to transmit with very, very high power. So power control is to make sure that at the receiver we will receive a kind of fixed signal to noise ratio, a target signal to noise ratio such that we can achieve a certain performance. Of course, if the user moves away, if the move, user moves towards the edge of a cell, then the base station will have to increase the transmission power to compensate the attenuation. So in essence, power control is to try to uh, obtain the AWGN performance. If we can perfectly control the power, such that we can perfectly estimate the channel attenuation, and we can then adjust the power such that we can maintain a very good performance there. Another approach is diversity. Diversity is to send the signal in replicas of some sort. We could simply repeat the signal, or we could do some other more intelligent way of repeating the signal, such that we will receive multiple signals. Because if one of the signal is very weak, if at one particular instance the channel is very weak, when we send the signal again, hopefully the channel will be good at that time. So if the channel becomes good, then we won't have such a bad performance. Diversity is simply, you know, the idea is just don't put all the eggs in one basket. Yeah, because if you put all the eggs in one basket, if the basket drops, then all your eggs will be broken. Diversity is to make sure that well, you don't invest all your resource or all your power into one channel. You simply invest the power into different channels such that hopefully one of the channels will be good. So diverse, what diversity does is that it's trying to average the effect of the variation. As I've mentioned in the top, if the receive signal to noise ratio variation reduces, the average performance will improve. So diversity is another major uh, approach in wireless communication. And you will see in the cellular system or in other wireless systems, power control and diversity are very, very commonly used. Diversity, uh, they will have many multiple diversity techniques. First one is time diversity, because the channel varies with time. Yeah? If we send the signal again at a different time, then because the channel changed, we could obtain diversity. That is the idea of time diversity. Frequency diversity, the channel also varies at different frequencies. So if we send the signal at different frequencies, then we will also have diversity. Spatial diversity, if we could send the signal at different locations, or in most of the cases, if we have multiple antennas, if we send the signal at, from different antenna then we could obtain spatial diversity. Polarization diversity, if we could have different polarization, because for antennas, there are uh, different polarizations. We could polarize the antenna in a vertical way or polarize it in a horizontal way. If we have different polarization, then we could also attain diversity from that way. 
These are the common diversity schemes, but there are two newer diversity schemes. One is cooperative diversity. Cooperative, cooperative diversity means that if you are the, a mobile, yeah, if you are sending a signal to the base station, what happens is that well, your classmates or your friends near, nearby you, their mobile will also help your signal. Because when you transmit, they will also listen. They will also receive what you are sending. Once they receive it, instead of doing nothing, they could help you by forwarding your message to the base station. This is cooperative diversity. Because when you are sending your signal, if someone else helps you to send it, they will see a different channel. By seeing a different channel, then you get spatial diversity in that way. Another type of diversity is called multi-user diversity. Multi-user diversity is quite different to the above, but what it does is, from a network point of view, or from the uh, uh, base station's point of view, when it is serving multiple users, instead of giving every user the same resource, what it can do is it can choose the best user. Once it chooses the best user, it can pump more data to that particular good user. For the weak users, or the users that have very low signal-to-noise ratio, then um, the base station could ask them to wait. Wait until they have a good channel. Yeah. This is multi-user diversity, because if the base station can choose the best user every time, then they could pump up the throughput. The overall capacity will be increased by that. As I've mentioned, um, spatial diversity is one of the diversity schemes. And you probably know that uh, in the past decade, there was a very hot research topic called MIMO, the Multiple Antenna Systems. The reason behind MIMO is as follows. Because for conventional SISO, SISO meaning single input, single output, which is just one transmit antenna and one receive antenna. This is conventional transmission uh, or conventional communication systems. There are many techniques that try to approach the Shannon's capacity. The Shannon's capacity is the ultimate limit that we can approach, the highest data rate that you can achieve. 